Professor. That's ridiculous. Mr. Howell wouldn't want to keep us out. Yeah, you got Mr. Howell all wrong. Mr. Howell's too nice to do anything like that. Can you imagine any man wanting to exclude me? Come on. Gilligan, what happened? You know that burglar alarm system that we put in for Mr. Howell to keep out the undesirables? Yeah. It works. Say I told you so, but we are the undesirables. Preston. <laughs> yes, dear? Aren't you forgetting something? I forgot to leave you at the clubhouse. <laughs> How then, dear? Exactly what did I forget? The wind is blowing every which way. <laughs> <laughs> You're so right, dear. Yes, yes. The professional golfers always throw grass up in the air to see what direction the wind is coming from. Uh, to each his own. <laughs> <laughs> Done, Thurston, old boy. <laughs> Hole in one. Three cheers and a tiger for me. Oh, this will be the lowest scoring round I've ever had. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? <laughs> Gee. That beach set sure know how to live. I don't understand why we can't come in. Yes, we all have these temporary limited lifetime memberships. Did you ever read the fine print? Read that clause. Not valid outside of Bucks County, Westchester, Beverly Hills, New York, and suburban Barstow? <laughs> That's terrible. That's really weird. It certainly is. Who ever heard of Beverly Hills? Now look, you can't take this lying down. You built this private beach club, and Howell promised you the right to enjoy it. The professor's right. Oh. Yeah, we got our rights. He can't oh. do that to us. <laughs> Come on. Oh, my dear, nothing like a cooling milk and soda after a brisk round on the links. <laughs> uh, now, my dear, a toast to the upper crust. <laughs> if you're looking for the delivery entrance, it's in the rear. Never mind that. We help build your private beach club, and we demand to be members. That's right. Yeah. Keep us out. Let us in. Now, you can't keep us out. Let us in. Oh, this is most distressing. Uh, very well. I'll call a meeting of the membership committee. Membership committee? Who's that? Mrs. Howell and yours truly. No. Who do what you think is he is? Yeah, we're going to tell him off. Right. What's this all about, I anyway? Uh, quiet, please. The Thurston Howell III Memorial Private Beach Club membership meeting will come to order. You'll be delighted to learn that the membership committee, <laughs> Lovey and I, have accepted all of you. Oh, Yay! Hooray! Yes, as I was saying, we've accepted all of you to take the membership test. Test? No, no, no. It, it's just a trifling little query. Even a nitwit could answer it. Sounds like it's right up my alley. Wait a minute. If this is another one of your tricks... No, no, no. I'll even let you talk it over among yourselves. Well, all right. You have five minutes to come up with the answer. The envelope, please. <clears throat> uh, dear Mr. Howell the third, the net profits from your recent investments are far exceeding... <laughs> Lovey. <laughs> <clears throat> no. The question is, how many goals did Snooky Farthingdale, the second, score in the third chucker of the Flushing Polo Finals in 1921? Oh, you're right. Remember now, you have exactly five minutes. <laughs> Too late. Uh, time is up. You said we were going to have five minutes. Time flies when you're having a good time. <laughs> Sorry, I'm only following orders. Oh, yeah? Whose orders? 
mud. <laughs> Hal, you come out here now so I can lower the boom on you. Now, don't you feel too badly. I'm holding another tryout tomorrow. Oh, your sun shines bright on my own exclusive club. Kiss <laughs> him. Gee, I'd better get going. Where to? To my almanac. I gotta do research on tomorrow's question. Gilligan, you don't even know what the question's gonna be. Well, why wait till the last minute? <laughs> Just a minute. This whole situation's gotten entirely out of hand. The professor's right. What do you mean, professor? I mean, Mr. Howell's been making us play his game. Now, if my meteorological calculations are correct, he may just end up playing our game. Hooray! Oh, yippee! <laughs> you care to dance? Later, perhaps. Another quaff of papaya passion fruit punch, my love? Not really. <laughs> what a joy. What's that? Not being bored by Gilligan and his tedious companions. You're so right, dear. I'd much rather be bored by you. <laughs> I feel exactly the same way about you, my dear. Listen. What do you hear? Nothing. And that's exactly what I've been hearing for the last three or four days. Not that it matters, but I wonder what the others are doing. They can leave any time, and I would never miss them. Leave the island? <laughs> Gilligan! <laughs> Skipper! Professor! Mary Ann! stranded on this ghastly island. They won't get away with this. I'll sue. I'll press charges for desertion. I'll have their credit cards recalled. I'll, I'll, I'll... <laughs> Deserted, cut off from all human contact. Isolated, doomed to eternal loneliness. Oh, what could be worse? Tycoon. <laughs> Correction, my dear. You mean typhoon. I'm the tycoon. We've got to get out of here. It's not safe. Relax, my dear. I designed this place myself. These walls can withstand anything. <laughs> anything, that is, but me. Quickly, <laughs> dear, to the caves. Open the door, Gilligan. Oh, sure. Just a minute. Are you a member of this organization? What? What? <laughs> a member? Have you applied for membership? Uh, but, what? Uh, but, uh, <laughs> Answer me. Do you or don't you have a membership card? Uh, no. Good. We don't believe in exclusion. Come on in. Yeah, welcome. Come on in. Yeah, get warm now. Nice to see you. Well, Good to have you with us again. Pass the coconut yeah. juice. Here, have some. Just have a some little of banana. Oh. Thank you. Well, Lovey and I have certainly learned our lesson. As far as we're concerned, you're the only exclusive club we want to belong to. <laughs> buy George, and I've got the money to buy George. It just goes to show you, people really need people. But you know, Mr. Howell, we need you and Mrs. Howell just as much as you need us. <laughs> oh, that's the most beautiful thing I ever heard. <laughs> oh. Please don't, Mrs. Howell. Stubby can't stand to see anyone cry. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> You've no idea how lonely we were. Indeed. It's a bad show being a snob. But you're not a snob. A snob is a guy whose eyes look down on you while his nose turns up. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a day. I think we all learned a little about the problems of being too exclusive. 
Yeah. And we also learn what happens when you try to keep yourself separated from other people. Gilligan, that's the same thing. You don't even know what the word exclusive means. I do, too. I've done a lot of exclusing. <laughs> One thing's for sure. Mr. and Mrs. Howell learned today that snobbery won't bring you happiness. And the postmen can't bring you happiness, either. How do you get that? That's just it. We don't. We don't have a post office. <laughs> well, there's not too much happiness in the world, anyway. That's true, Skipper. I guess we'll just have to be happy without it. <laughs> Good night, little buddy. Good night, Skipper. See ya.